This is Lake Hammond on the KSTP Jazz Party Line, and a call to one of the distinguished guitarists in the world of jazz, Johnny Smith. Hi, Lee. Hi, Johnny. Uh, you know, if I mention the name Django Reinhardt, uh, what's your reaction? What do you say? Well, uh, it brings up a very beautiful memory of uh, having the, had the, the luck of uh, knowing Reinhardt when he was still alive, when he was in this country around uh, 48 or 49. I uh, spent quite a bit of time with him. He was a wonderful person, very talented. What, uh, in your conversations with him and also, too, with, I imagine, your uh, uh, more or less uh, exchange of ideas as far as the guitar is concerned, what, what do you recall uh, about Django and uh, also his uh, great musicianship? Uh, mostly sign language and facial expressions. You see, he didn't speak any English and I didn't speak any French. That's what I recall. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, did he play for you? Oh, yes. We sat up in his hotel room. He stayed at the uh, Henry Hudson Hotel in New York, and uh, and we sat up there day after day playing. And amongst uh, one of his very ardent adv advocates is uh, Les Paul, who also shared the same uh, little huddle. Which was quite a huddle as far as quarterbacks of the guitar go. Uh, well, we, <laughs> we sure had a lot of... Uh, interesting uh, times of it, I'll tell you that. Uh, this uh, man, Django Reinhardt, as most people did or did not know, suffered from a disability because of a burn, which affected, I believe, his left hand. Isn't that right? That was right. The, uh, the, uh, the third and fourth fingers of the left hand. Well, now, if you were to suffer that same sort of an unfortunate accident, John, do you think you'd be able to play the guitar? Uh, do you know if they need a floor sweeper up there at the studio or not? Well, <laughs> I'm afraid we can't hire you on that basis, but we'd love to have you join our distinguished uh, uh, group of musicians. No, uh, seriously, I think if uh, that happened to me, I, I just wouldn't know what to do. Well, of course, uh, I think, you know, the accident with Django happened when he was a youngster, and uh, he was playing violin at the time, which he promptly gave up and uh, took... Uh, took to the guitar. I guess nobody ever bothered to tell him that uh, you couldn't play guitar with two fingers gone. So he just went ahead and did it. Which is a testimony to some courage and perseverance that you know, few of us have. And a lot well, of these talent. conversations about Django, Johnny Smith, are most interesting, and I know there are many other topics we'd like to survey, so we'll get back to those in just a moment. Wonderful, late. Johnny Smith is on the KSTP Jazz Corner Party Line. This is Lake Hammond inviting him in, and I suppose like um, old wives' tales, we'll be telling a few over the backyard fence. Johnny, I know you're there. Yes, Lee, how are you? I know besides music, you have many other interests, and one of them concerns flying. So uh, just to let some of the jazz aficionados in, uh, what's your favorite kind of airplane? Well, of course, I'm uh, strictly the putt-putt type pilot, uh, which means the smaller type ships, the single engine. Uh, uh, there's uh, any number of good airplanes along that line. It's strictly a hobby with me. I used to have a ship that I thought an awful lot of. It was a Stinson, a four-place Stinson. They called it the Flying Station Wagon. <laughs> and I practically lived in that. Just as long as it wasn't a Flying Greyhound or something like that. <laughs> Uh, what what uh, what do you enjoy about flying, John? Well, I think the thing that I enjoy most about it, Lee, it's uh, completely uh, opposite and set apart from music, uh, and it's just uh, intricate enough that uh, you have to give it your full attention when you're doing it, which, of course, takes your mind completely away from whatever profession you might be in aside from that. In other words, it helps to break that everyday pattern. That's right. Johnny Smith, uh, thanks for your view on uh, of a favorite uh, avocation or hobby of yours, uh, planes and, and flying. I understand you teach, uh, among other things, uh, the very uh, fine pursuit of uh, airplanes. Uh, yes, I'm an instructor. I'm a commercial pilot and flight instructor. We'll meet you out in Colorado Springs in that beautiful sky blue Rocky Mountain air and take a few bumps along the Rocky Mountain range with you. You have a standing invitation. When you hear a guitarist play, you think of uh, Charlie Christian of Benny Goodman's band, and sometimes you think uh, perhaps if you like classics uh, of names like Segovia. Uh, I think of Johnny Smith, the guitarist, and he's on our 
KSTV Jazz Corner Line. Johnny, uh, I, I know you like classical music. When you take it easy at home, uh, what, what uh, kind of classical records will you pull out and put on the hi-fi? Well, a very uh, varied collection, actually, uh, Lee. I, I like uh, Tchaikovsky, or I have uh, uh, Prokofiev, some of his symphonies, and uh, uh, Piano Concerto of Prokofiev, and uh, Schoenberg, and uh, right on down the line. I like a very varied, varied uh, classical, uh, what, what should I say? <laughs> well, I think, I, I think you have just a universal taste, uh, from what I can gather. I, I'll bet you even like uh, good uh, country and folk music as well. Well, I think you just hit the thing right on the head. Uh, I think anyone should just draw one line, and that's between good and bad. Thanks very much, Johnny Smith, and uh, we'll go listen to some Tchaikovsky, some Schoenberg, and some Prokofiev on your recommendation. Thanks, Ray. On the jazz line to the KSTP Radio Jazz Corner, Johnny Smith, a Hi. distinguished guitarist. Hi. Pretty good, Lee. How are you? I'm going to mention some names and perhaps some places and, and uh, see what kind of reactions I get. This is not a test. It's more like Leonard Feather's uh, blindfold test, but not quite. Uh -huh. John, uh, if I were to mention Charlie Yardbird Parker, uh, what would you say? Well, of course, there's a... There's a man who left us all a little abashed, I'm afraid, Lay, a man with so much talent. And uh, when he was his normal self, was such a sweet, gentle, and appreciative person. And it's just a shame that uh, such a wonderful talent, a wonderful gift, and a wonderful person had to be uh, destroyed by you-know-what. Lester Young, uh, when I mention his name, what do you say? Uh, just about the same bouquets. Lester, of course, was, uh, in my opinion, in a little different era musically than uh, Charlie Parker, but uh, uh, certainly along the same line of, uh, of genius. How about uh, the name Clifford Brown and the trumpet? Well, that's, uh, that's another one that, uh, that leaves us a little abashed because uh, Clifford, of course, uh, lost uh, his life in an automobile accident but uh, he certainly uh, had a very beautiful life of music ahead of him and uh, certainly a lot to give to all of us. And if I were to say uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday gig at Birdland, what would you say? Help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 26 weeks at Birdland. <laughs> well, wow. <laughs> sure is the good name, to talk uh, to you. Go good ahead, to Ray. talk to you. I was going to, the name Dimitri Metropolis comes to mind. Uh, what does that make you think of? Well, I think that was one of my biggest thrills in music, was uh, doing a concert, or several concerts, with Dimitri Metropolis. Certainly and a genius. Didn't you write some work for him? No, no, absolutely not. I wish I had that capability. Uh, I performed the Albenberg uh, Opera Wojciech, in which uh, the orchestra was augmented to 107 men with the 50-voice glee club, plus... Uh, a uh, ten-voice uh, children's chorus, plus about six uh, uh, lead singers in the opera. And he not only knew every word, every marking, all, from all the voices, but for every member of the orchestra, he knew what every instrument played at all times, every measure, marking, every nuance in the whole thing, by memory, just for that one, uh, one series of concerts. Johnny Smith, uh, for your uh, tributes to Charlie Yardbird Parker, and Lester Young, Clifford Brown, and, and a man in a diverse field, Dimitri Metropolis, uh, thanks so much. Those comments are most appreciated and most interesting. Thank you, Leigh.